Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to capture screen recorded video with audio on Mac OS. We're gonna be using the latest version of Mac OS Ventura version 13. And in order to capture the audio with the video, we're gonna need an additional piece of software by an amazing company called Ginger Audio. The software is called Ground Control Cast Alive. There's a free version which you can download. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And there's also a paid version that costs $59 as a one-off purchase that unlocks some advanced features. But for what we're doing today, you can do it all with the free version. So before following along with the tutorial, make sure you download the software, install it, and then I'll show you how to use it. In addition, I'm gonna show you how to capture a screen recording using QuickTime Player and an alternate method using OBS. And beyond that, I'll also show you how to capture a vocal recording with a microphone at the same time as your screen recorded audio. So without any further delay, let's get started and capture our screen recording with audio. So the first thing you need to do is to head over to the gingeraudio.com website click on ground control caster which is probably the first tab that comes up on the website once you've downloaded and installed caster restart your mac and then go ahead and open the caster application on the left hand side is an option to add some sound effects caster is actually very useful software for live streaming where if you want to have a podcast or any type of live performance and you want to stream out to live streaming platforms you can actually integrate some built-in sound effects on the fly so this is what the first column is all about the second column is the one that we're going to be dealing with today and that's our audio input if you click on the drop down arrow below desktop audio you can see there's a whole range of options to record the audio of specific applications. So if you're looking at doing a tutorial on a software title, for example, Premiere Pro, and you just wanna have the audio of Premiere Pro captured, you could select that option. But I find that when I'm doing my demonstrations, I tend to hot swap between apps very quickly. So I wanna be able to capture all of the audio that's coming from my desktop including audio from a web browser such as YouTube. So we'll leave that selected to desktop audio. I'm just gonna move the window to the right here and bring up a web browser now. And I'll go to my YouTube channel containing some of my selected ambient works of music. This is the Alpha State of Mind YouTube channel. If you like this type of music and you feel like chilling out, and relax into some high quality ambience. I'll leave a link to my channel in the description box below. But let's go ahead and click on play and make sure that the audio is being routed from the browser window through to the caster application. So let's click on play. And immediately you can see that we have the level meters below the desktop audio input active in orange so that shows us that audio is indeed coming through to caster and then on the output window on the right hand side we can see we have a level meter which is also active at negative 36. now if you want to go a little bit louder you can bring up that slider or if it's too loud and you want to drop it you choose the level of volume that you would like to record and of course you could also change the volume of the video itself until you get to the right levels. Typically, for most audio recordings, you wanna be anywhere from negative six to negative one dB for optimal audio quality. And we can see that's all working well. If you just wanna record the audio, you can actually take advantage of the built-in audio recorder within the caster application by clicking on the record button on the bottom of the output window. And you can see that it's starting to record that audio. Click on the record button again, click on the folder icon, and your audio has been recorded into the audio folder. But as I mentioned earlier, I wanna show you how to actually record 
video and audio. Now there's two different methods you can use. The first one is to take advantage of the built-in QuickTime player software, which is probably the easiest way to do a screen recording. So to do that, hit the command and space bar and type in QuickTime player. And then in the file menu, click on new screen recording. And in the mid section of the toolbar that appears at the base of the screen, you can either record the entire screen or record a selected portion. So let's say I wanna record the entire screen. I'll click on that. I'm then gonna click on the options menu and in the sub menu that appears, we're gonna go into the microphone section and choose caster. And that will now record the audio that we routed through the caster software. I'll go back to the YouTube player, click on play. And click on the stop record icon on the top of the screen and click on play. And there you go. We've just taken a screen recording that includes audio. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you was recording, screen recording, and the recording of your voice via an external microphone. So this is quite common when you're wanting to do a presentation on screen, capture all the screen audio and capture your own recording. So to do that, we're gonna take advantage of a, another utility application called Audio MIDI Setup. So to find the application, you can go to your applications utility folder, look for audio MIDI setup, or hit the command and spacebar and type in audio MIDI setup. We're gonna take advantage of the aggregate device feature in audio MIDI setup. So to create an aggregate device, click on the plus button icon, click on create aggregate device, and now we have all of the available audio inputs listed in the middle of the screen. If you have a USB microphone connected, if you have an audio mixer or any other audio devices, they'll appear in this screen. So I wanna select the H6, which is the Zoom H6 audio recorder that I've plugged into my Mac via USB. And I've got my Rode NT1 microphone plugged into the recorder interface. So that's gonna capture the vocal recording and now I'm going to select caster. So in the aggregate device, we have two audio inputs, the H6 and the caster screen recording. Now, so that we can find this later on in our applications, click on the title and rename it. I'll call this microphone plus screen recording. So if we go back to QuickTime Player, click on File, New Screen Recording, select either the entire screen or selected portion, whichever you prefer, click on Options, and then in the submenu that appears, rather than selecting Caster, which is just screen recording audio, we're gonna select the aggregate device that we just set up in the audio MIDI software, microphone plus screen rec. And now when I hit record, we'll be able to record both the audio music that's playing right now in the background, plus the audio that I'm recording by this microphone. And now the final method for screen recording is to actually use OBS, which is also free software. OBS is otherwise known as Open Broadcast Software. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So go ahead and click on Mac OS to download the free Mac version. Once you've done so, open OBS, and you should see the main interface that you're seeing on screen right now. So in order to create a screen recording that captures both the screen video and the audio of my microphone as well, there's gonna be three inputs. We're gonna create a scene and I'm gonna call this screen recording. Click on the screen recording scene so that it's highlighted in blue. And then on the right-hand side, 
we're going to click on the plus button to add an object to that scene. We're going to start with the Mac OS screen capture and we're going to click on OK. And we'll leave the defaults to display capture and the built-in retina display. If you have a MacBook Pro or different type of Mac, you might see a different resolution here. Just click on OK there. And now we're going to click on the plus button and add an audio input capture. And I'm going to call this microphone. And in the drop down menu that appears, I'm going to select H6, which is the audio interface. Now I'm going to click on the plus button again, click on audio input capture, and I'll call this screen audio. And in the drop down menu that appears, I'll select caster. And this is going to use caster to route the audio from the screen activity on my Mac. So whether I'm playing a video on a web browser or if I'm playing back audio on a music application that I'm demonstrating, Caster will pick up that audio and route it through to OBS. So now we have an OBS scene that includes my screen audio, my microphone, and also my Mac OS screen recording being captured all at once. You can click on start streaming and set up stream keys if you want to stream that out to Twitch or YouTube. Or if you just want to create a video as I'm doing right now, click on start recording, go through your demonstration. Everything you're doing on screen, including the video and audio will be captured through OBS. Click on stop recording once you've completed it and your video file will be available for editing. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. Bye for now.